so these last couple days I've been doing more service beacon medical missions uh, and generally just helping players who need my help. This can be from people who are stuck in space randomly or if they've lost their ship in some format or they've just been downed by enemies and need some rescuing. Service beacons seem to have an issue sometimes where they'll spawn the HUD somewhere where the player is actually not located. The only way I found to circumvent this was inviting the player to a party and then jumping to that beacon. There's also a bug with service beacons where medicals won't be fulfilled so you won't get paid for doing any of this but really it's more for the fun of the activity rather than the payment. After some time of trying to figure it out with Sambo I eventually got him at a party and was able to locate him and get to his position. Now it still won't show where he is on the ground till I get close enough so I have to do some communication with the player to kind of get an idea of where he's actually located inside. Now you need to be careful when approaching these depots because they're usually hostile to players and will shoot on sight. There's two ways to approach, you can either blow up the turret or you can take the more civil approach and just park behind the turret in a spot where he can't shoot at you. Unfortunately for me, this is not the back of the turret but the front. Now that I'm here, all that's left to do is work my way into the bunker and find the target that I'm looking for. So the danger with these bunkers has to do with the AI being kind of random. You have to be careful as you navigate this and make sure to check your corners, as sometimes the AI will just stand there and really not do anything or miss all their shots at you, and sometimes there'll be G.I. Joe snipers that just snap you in the face in one shot blink of an eye. Always perform a weapon check as well, as sometimes Star Citizen will think that you have no ammo inside your mag. This is just easily done by reloading real quick. No game, no! Ah oh, shit, he's gone. Well, that was lucky. Once I've cleared the area of AI, I start to go look for the target. Once I found him, I first cleared the area within his vicinity to make sure there was no other AI hiding in the area. Once I felt that I was safe, I went ahead and started to heal him. He lives! From here on, it was just about escorting him to my ship so he can use the medical bay to replenish any food or water that he needed or heal him any further if needed and uh, get him back to a station where it was safe. After Sambo healed up and got his nourishments back up to level, he went ahead and went back into Bunker to finish off his mission. With my mission complete, I took off from the area and went on to help another person. With this other mission, I was having the same issue where the HUD wasn't displaying correctly. That said, we had invited each other to a party, but it was still showing it outside of Lyria. I ended up warping to it and immediately put me right inside of Lyria. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god. What? What is this? Oh, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. What the fuck is going on here? Holy shit, it let me through. Thankfully going through the ground, it didn't blow me up, so I continued with my rescue mission. Another thing to watch out for when you're doing these bunker missions is the possibility of civilians being inside and also security forces, which will give you a crime stat if you shoot at it. That's why sometimes you'll see me acquire a target, but take a second to shoot just to make sure I identify the target correctly.
my lord, Bo is doing some work in here. This rescue was a little hard to locate as he was kind of hidden tucked away in the server room. Eventually through communication I was able to locate his body and from there I just made sure the area was clear. From here Dami was pretty set so mission complete. I headed back to the station and just hung around for some more missions to do. Thanks for sticking around and watching. If you like this kind of material, don't forget to like. And you can always check out my videos for some tutorials and other gameplay footage as well. With that being said, catch you on the next one.